So probably worth mentioning now, being on the sort of similar topic as filters, is we also have the ability to edit the interactions between various visuals on our report. And by that, we know Power BI is an interactive tool. So if I go to my pie chart and select high, the high segment anyway, you can see the pie chart is updated to show the selection, but we can also see our table is only now showing high priority. And also our total task by month has just highlighted the applicable selection to our pie chart. But you may want this to work slightly different. Maybe you would like the table to um, you know, not show this highlighted view. You want it to actually filter the data or you don't want it to interact with the pie chart at all. If you want to do that, you need to first select the visual which you know is going to have the control. Go to your format tab and then select this icon for edit interactions. And you'll see you get this, these additional options available to you on each visual. So if you didn't want this bar chart to update at all based on selections in your pie chart, you could select none. And you can see it's done no update whatsoever. Regardless of what you select here, the chart is not going to update at all. Alternatively, you could have the highlight option, which is the default option that we looked at previously, in which it just highlights the applicable selection against the total data. Or we have the last option, which is filter. So you can see what it's done now is it's only, or it's filtered that graph to only show the applicable high data. And as we go into other options, so like medium and also into low, you can see how that is completely updated into that bar chart. So this may be of use to you at the visual level, but where it does have good uh, a good use is when you're working with slices. So again, one thing to note here is once we've done our applicable filter to our visuals, just make sure you deselect that edit interactions just that so nothing is updated or lost. So let's just create another slicer. So I'm gonna copy the category one and just drag it to the side here. And let's drag into here priority and remove that. So you can now see we've quickly added a slicer for priority. When we select high from here, obviously everything is now gonna update, but maybe it's not so useful to show your 100% as high in your pie chart because it's kind of a bit of an obvious selection. So what we could do here is select our, our slicer, go to format, edit interactions, and turn off the filtering to our pie chart. Obviously, we'll just deselect that selection now, or deselect our edit interaction, sorry. Whatever is selected in our priority will update all other visuals except for our pie chart, which remains constant by showing everything summarized. So again, another sort of quick tip there. Uh, thought probably now is the most logical time to drop that in there. If this may or may not be useful at uh, to you at this point in time, but I'm sure it would definitely be useful to you in the future. So if you haven't done so already, now might be a great chance to have a little test playing around with those different interactions between the different visuals, uh, not to only to familiarize yourself with how it works, but also just giving you this sort of insight into the different possibilities that you have. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.